Hello everyone, welcome to this new section on the straight line which is dedicated to book reviews and today we are going to talk about one of my favorite genres which is horror. How many people are here who just love to read horror stories, hear about horror stories and watch horror movies. But when I talk about books that are that fall in the horror genre, one thing is very important that this genre has gotten very diluted. Whenever you start reading a horror book, you realize that it's more of a thriller suspense rather than horror and that is always a disappointment. But the book in question today is Turkey Creek by W.S. Henry Chovsky and I will tell you that I absolutely loved it and that is one of the reasons why I want to talk about it. One of the major reasons I loved it is that in a horror book things that are more important than the actual source of terror whether it is a ghost whether it is a supernatural happenings because of a curse or something the actual thing that gets you scared is the visualization of the surroundings while you're reading you don't get the same kind of effect that you can get while watching a movie because there are sound effects and then there are visual imagery while you're reading you have to be captured by the horror and by that dread that the author is trying to provoke in you and for that strong writing is required one of the persons who said the gold standard for horror for me Bram Stoker with the Dracula of course and then in the contemporary world there's Stephen King whenever I start reading a horror book there's always this at the back of my mind that if Stephen King can do it then of course there are going to be other authors who can make such strong visual imagery that will make you feel scared while you are reading a horror book so Turkey Creek is set in Mississippi next to the banks of uh, this creek and it is a haunted place of course as is the trend in horror books but it is not a cliche it is not a cliche for various reasons first thing that the uh, that the reason the curse is upon that plantation is very different than what you normally see in books uh, it does deal with very sensitive subjects of slavery rape torture and it doesn't shy off while depicting it and while being graphic about it. So this is also a warning to all those people who can't tolerate the, such things in their books that if you do not like such gory and violent stuff while reading then I think you should skip those chapters or just not pick this a book up. But if you're someone like me who is okay with it and uh, does not feel very sensitively about it and actually really looks forward to it while reading horror books then this is the book that you should consider. The dilemma that I had while reading this book is uh, when you feel uh, relatable to the character who are living such horrid experiences, you start thinking, do they really deserve it? And when it comes to books like these that deal with sensitive subjects such as slavery and, uh, you know, the rape and torture that the people who used to live at that plantation bore, uh, then you do start thinking that maybe the people who come afterwards do really deserve it. But when it comes to this book, the people who have now moved into that area into that haunted place are a completely innocent family in Mississippi and they don't realize really uh, what is causing all the supernatural happenings and it is quite a scary book you know from the initial few chapters you start realizing there's something wrong but by the end of it you do you know you have those shivers up your spine and you're really scared and you really want to find out what happens to the characters next so the book is really engaging and it just takes your attention and it grips you and this this is why this book is some uh, this book is one book that i really do recommend to horror fans and even if you're a newbie who hasn't really read fiction in the horror genre before this is a book that you should try out I know many people in India who, uh, you know, love reading uh, reading horror books, but don't really tap into the horror market that exists in the US or the UK. And international books do have a way of uh, creating the atmosphere a bit differently, and it might feel a little harder for you to relate to it. But uh, the stories are so compelling, and it is such beautifully written horror book that I really feel that you will get into it once you start reading it. If you do want to buy this book, I will leave a link in the description and uh, just check it out. I hope that you like it.